The Assembly Transportation Committee had a hearing today because we are very frustrated uh, at the actions of the Port Authority in closing lanes in Fort Lee, disrupting traffic in Bergen County without any notification to either the Fort Lee mayor, the police chief, or anybody on the ground there. It disrupted traffic. It made people late for work worse. It made public safety, fire, first aid have to take very circuitous routes, putting people's lives at jeopardy. Port Authority came today and provided very little light on this. They tried to change the subject. But the basic issue about how the Port Authority could make such a monumental decision without any communication is still left unanswered. No, sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Baroni. I, I heard you the first three times that you talked about the issue of whether or not there should be lanes. But so, that's not what this hearing is about. This hearing is about the lack of communication and the poor conduct of the Port Authority. You and you are here trying to cover that up. There's what no, I would uh, like to know on, is whether or not you have an nonsense. email trail. You're trying to tell us that this major a study that had a major disruption on your major bridge has no paper trail, that there is not a single Assemblyman, email that explains how this was done. I, that defies I all logic, here. and nobody in this room believes that. One person made a call to close, to redirect the traffic. One person, a David Wildstein, in this particular article. And, and he is the director of interstate capital projects. And so I get a little bit um, nervous that one person can make such a powerful call the night before a change that will disrupt people's lives. You have Cliffside Park, Richfield, Powell Park. You have a lot of different towns in that area mm -hmm. that use the same road, that local entrance. So when your authority decided to do an I don't know if you want to call it an impact study or a traffic study, whatever you want to call it, you didn't just affect Fort Lee, you affected most of Bergen County, at least in that particular area. In his September 13 email, Executive Director Foy said that, I believe this hasty and ill-advised decision violates federal law and the laws of both states. Can you tell me what he was talking about in terms of violation of federal law no. and laws of both states? No. The decision was made finally on, Mr. Wildstein, September on the September 5th, hold on. the yes, lane Mr. closure on the 9th. Uh, requested the one-week study be conducted starting the 9th, correct. So you knew on the 5th? Uh, no, I think I knew at some point that weekend. Why didn't you make a call out to the mayor? Communication failure, absolutely. You forgot to call? Uh, Mr. Baroni said that uh, they had a communications failure, but even he knew about this closure in advance, and he made the decision to not tell anybody. I think it's reprehensible on his part. I think it's a violation of his oath to serve the people of the state of New Jersey. And clearly, we need to continue to dig into this because uh, a lot of the testimony doesn't make sense.